All right, we finally did it. We got the Herc A to Z video finished. Um, I finally got a good game um, after so many attempts <laughs> to to play this god and make, get a good video for it. Uh, we finally got one, so I'm I'm pretty excited to do this finally. Um, he's a little late. We did King Arthur and Horus uh, way before Hercules. They should have come um, after Hercules, at, the, at least alphabetically. That's why, that's why it's called the A to Z. But uh, yeah, I just got good games with them first, and I was like, yeah, I, I'll you know I'll post these as soon as I get a Herc one. But just the Herc video never came, so. Um, yeah, we're, we finally got one, though, so we can finally get it up. Um, Herc is... He's okay in the meta right now. He's not super great. Um, he had a really good um, kind of place uh, in Smite uh, when Season 10 started, with Breastplate Regrowth being a new item that was introduced, and it was a really strong item. It was also a very cheap item, so... If you could, like, rush it on characters, it was actually a really good item for people. Uh, Achilles... Um, Hercules, of course, uh, Guan Yu, uh, Mulan. There was a lot of characters that were really good at proccing the, the heal and getting the movement speed. And, like, it gives you, like, good 50 uh, Fizz Prot um, and 10% cooldown. And, you know, it's got that passive to it. It's really, it was a really nice item. And I'll, 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 a big part of how good it was was how cheap it was. Um, but we're not going to build that today. Um, at least... Not, not that I think. Uh, we're going to a, a Sigil Frostbound start. Frostbound's been pretty meta for a while. For soul laners, you're seeing a lot of people right now. Um, just because it gives you good power and the passive, like, you know, it's really good. Uh, it, when lane, when you're trying to 1v1, it gives you power, so it, it makes your clearing really good. And it translates to the late game really well. Um, you're able to kind of, like, if you're able to utilize auto, auto cancels or you're just able to get autos in nicely... Frostbound is just a really nice item to have um, that lets you keep close to people that you want to try to chase down or kill. Um, so we're just getting that. And we're getting the Gooseberry because uh, uh, Golden Blade Start is also a really good uh, Herc Start. There's a lot of different builds you can do with Herc. Um, Golden Blade Start, you can go the Frostbound Start. Sometimes you go right into like a, a Glad Shield or a Breastplate Regrowth if you still want to go that route. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's... With the new recipes, it's actually nice because gooseberries, which is very much like a golden blade, in a way, um, once you get stacked, um, it's basically like a free little golden blade for them, um, and you don't have to don't actually have to go golden blade, so you can get something that has a bit more like, uh, just you can you can rush your protection item if you want to and still have good clear once you get stacked, or you can rush uh, the the power item like uh, sometimes you can rush. An amplifier that's good on them. Uh, Sekhmet Scepter has been getting bought a little bit. Got a little bit of a buff recently. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go the Frost Mountain start, though. But we'll get the Gooseberries. We actually did not get Cleo there. I didn't actually see her get knocked up. Oh, my God. I don't know if she meant to do that. <laughs> if I had anything, she's kind of just dead. I thought about popping the Shard, but I just don't think I catch her even with the Shard. Um, Pele might want to go for an Invade here. Um, unless, yeah, I don't really want to, it's a Freya jungle, <laughs> um, I don't really want to fuck with that, I'm gonna insta-die if I, we try to do anything, uh, anything there, uh, we get the red, uh, Tiki mask first, part of the new update, um, it's gonna give us some lifesteal, it's not, it's, you know, it's okay, um, generally in the solo lane, you usually want to be looking for, uh, the blue, uh, Tiki Mask upgrade, which gives you the 10% cooldown, uh, kind of makes it old blue buff, and uh, or you can get the green, um, which is better late game, but you know it can still be nice uh, early game as well. And depending on who you are, the purple one actually um, makes a little bit of sense. But the the penetration one and the lifesteal one are generally not uh, upgrades you want to get in any lane, really. I don't know why you'd want to get any any of those two. They're just it just doesn't really make sense. Uh, I mean, characters that you want lifesteal on, you're building lifesteal anyway. And the pen one is like, it's it's 5% pen, which just isn't a whole lot. Um, so, uh, we're just gonna... The pen one's the other one, by the way. Uh, it may seem like it should be like speed or something, but the last thing... Uh, ooh, nice. Nice little pull there. I did not have my push up, unfortunately. There we go, I hit the push there. We got the alt off to clear wave. Do some damage to her as well. Keep poking her out. 
We did the we just got the first part of our uh, gooseberries done, so that's good. Um, yeah, the last thing Smite really needs is a, a more movement speed. It's just movement speed is already such a contentious like thing to have as a stat on certain items. Movement speed obviously very strong. Like if you can just run faster than somebody else, it's it's a big it's a big deal. Um, so probably good that they didn't make the yellow one like five percent movement speed or something. Like just give people free like uh, blood forge movement speed and shit like that. Although that is the lowest amount of movement speed you can get on an item, I think is five percent. But still, it's just free movement speed is a little little rough. I don't think we're gonna get this totem. We'll still fire for it though. Yeah, we just don't get it. It's fine. I'm just gonna worry about clearing the wave most of the time. We don't really want to be poking her out too much, just because she is going that soul eater. So she's gonna be he healing up a lot. We can actually cancel her scream, which is nice. And the only reason I say don't poke her out here, besides the the healing, obviously it's good to poke out your opponent in lane. It's mainly just because you really want to be kind of focused on hitting the wave mostly, um, as Herc, just because like if you're spending a lot of your time like hitting your opponent, like most of the time you're not actually hitting the wave. Um, it's not like a and. It's not like a Ravana that you can like throw like your fist through it or you know a, a tier where you can just fearless the wave and also like run it into um, the enemy or something like you can hit the both the wave and your enemy at the same time with Herc but it's like most of the time they're smart enough not to stack up like that so you know at the end of the day I would just line up the abilities to clear your wave and then once you clear like if you clear Herc really does have good clear. Even without gooseberries, I mean, the 2-1 combo will, like, do a lot of work to wave. Especially if you're going a Frostbound start, you're getting a lot of good power to wave clear. So, that's kind of my advice as, as Herc right now. Um, is uh, kind of just focus on your wave clear. And then, like, once you're out clearing your opponent, then, like, go for poke and be annoying. See, so she's got to clear a little bit here. She keeps fucking up her dash. I don't know how I didn't hit her there. What the hell? I went, like, right through her. And, uh, yeah, I, I also like using the ult a lot to just wave clear. Because, <laughs> uh, a lot of the time you're not really using it to... You can use it to kill, and it's very good at doing that. It's just sometimes it's really hard to line up. That would have been amazing if we hit that. We wouldn't even have known because she, she went invisible. That blind is such a bitch of an ability. But, uh... Sometimes it, it's like, uh, like I was saying, like it's good to clear the wave and then fight your opponent. And Herc's actually really good at that with the boulder. So you can like you can use the boulder for wave clear. You can hit your opponent at the same time if they're if they're stacking up with the wave a little bit. And then like you just kind of insta clear wave. Um, and then you can just run at your opponent. So that's that's kind of like the benefit of just like kind of using your boulder on wave like off cooldown. Uh, she just got that with her alt. That's another thing too, like with Cleo, like, I don't know actually how we're out clearing her. She should be saving her alts for wave, because what she should be kind of doing the same exact thing is where she would like, she would just drop alt on wave, right? And then that's all she has to use to clear the wave. And then she just uses her abilities to hit me, especially with her one being knock up immune. Like she would should try, she should try to bait out my dash so she can, or like try to bait, bait the two. So she doesn't, she can't get affected by that uh, pull ability. Uh, and now with the gooseberries on, we all we gotta do really is is uh, use our two in the wave, group it all up, and then we're able to kind of gooseberries it to death. They want to go for a little bit of an invade slash gank here. I'll come over just to see what's going on. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get anything here. They know we're all here. Who are we going on? I don't know who they want to attack. Freya maybe. I fucked up the jump or the dash. I mean, I can't believe I keep missing that. Okay, we're we're just going for blue, I guess. Athena went for Cleo. It seemed a little we seemed a little lost there, but that's fine. We get the blue and we kind of just run away. Is essentially what we wanted to do anyway. With us having pressure there, Sylvanas came late, but it could have gotten bad if we were um, a little more spread out. If I was still in, like, jungle back there, that could have been really bad for me. That's fine, though. No, oh, we hit her that time. 
it's weird how Herc Dash works sometimes, where, like, sometimes you'll hit the person, but, like, you don't realize at first because it's, like, a delayed input kind of thing. Is this just a dead Cleo? That was a, that was a pretty clutch, uh, uh, turn, uh, rotation. We actually have, like, the, the rotation, rotation squad on our team. I didn't really notice. We got the churn and the Athena. Should be a really good late game for, uh, team fights. Uh, yeah, but like I was saying with Herc Dash, it's gonna get really annoying. Yeah, I don't know. Do I want regrowth or should I get just Glad Shield? I think we're just gonna build in the Glad Shield. I also thought about just building Phalanx because Phalanx OP, but I don't know. I, I'm not really feeling a Phalanx on Herc. I feel like either Glad or Breastplate would just be better. But I could be wrong about that. I mean, Phalanx is just going to be good right now just because of how it's statted. It's going to give you a lot of Fizz Prot. It's going to give you decent... It's going to give you Magical Prot for not being a Magical Defense item, which is always good, right? Um, and, of course, uh, we actually have a lot of ways for it to proc on us constantly with uh, Danza and Freya, both using auto attacks a lot. Nice. It's nice having a new wall of our own. Morgan just turns into her every time. Just whoops somebody. Oh no. Donza died to the scorpion. One scorpion coming to smite. Oh my god. Come here. Oh my god. Come on. Oh. <laughs> We, uh, oh, that would have been so bad. We did miss our dash, and I thought we were kind of screwed tower diving there, but uh, we were actually able to keep up with her um, and just auto her to death, which I actually didn't think we'd be able to do. And we were able to get out of tower just in time. Thank goodness. And Pele is still in the blue off cooldown. That's what I like to see. Junglers that actually like to come over and, and invade the blue off cooldown and be, be present in the solo lane. Not like actually ganking or anything. You're like that's usually if they don't want to do that, that's fine. But uh, just being able to like be there for the buffs for buff secure because I mean solo buff is usually one of the hardest ones to um, to deal with when it's getting invaded. So it's just good to have someone checking on that. Surely she doesn't get pulled into tower here. <laughs> yeah, she's got her dash. She's fine. I think we're just gonna back. Never mind. Maybe we're not gonna back. Hmm. We're fine. We should definitely be backing soon, just to get our item online. And we got the persistent up, so that's gonna be up a lot. So we should be able to kind of teleport as much as we want. I get some totem action here. All to do some damage to totem and clean at the same time. I think we're just gonna walk away from her. Oh, she is behind me. I was kind of guessing because I knew she was going to be... I couldn't see her and I knew I, her 2 was propped on me, so I didn't know where it was. So I tried getting lucky there. I think we just get... Mm, do we just get blank? No beads? Take it like a man? I think we can get away with it. They don't have that bad CC. They don't got like a, a dodgy on bots, Ares ult or anything like that. I think we can get away with not having beads. No Kuang either. There are certain comps where, like, even as a tank, beads are very good, very useful for keeping you alive. Because usually when you don't have beads, you're the one that's targeted. Um, or at least it just fucks with you more. But, uh... Plus, I mean, we have the CC immunity in our ult, so we can kind of use that to our advantage. If we can muster it. Just gonna one-shot it. I knew she was gonna try to go for a steal again. So I just kind of wanted to burst it as quick as I could there. So saving my abilities for the secure, all of them, so I can just belt them all at once. Get the the big burst damage off. I'm just gonna alt wave here. That way we can clear wave and maybe uh, start working on these bastions a little bit. We don't know where our person is. We called out missing. I I don't know. Yeah, she's teleporting. We're good. Freya's actually in left lane. It's not what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. So if they want to dive and get a little, uh, little shrifty over there, they can, because Freya is all the way in right. So is Cleo. So we definitely take advantage of that. And we can get both Bastions down, which is really nice. Hmm. Cleo's positioning like Freya's still over here. I don't think she is. 
Yeah, I don't know why she did that wrap around. I don't see Freya. Oh, she's all the way back there. What the hell? I'm on my way. I think we just wait, huh? Yeah, okay, there's, there's it all. We just wait for her to come down and push her in the wall, I think. Nice. I didn't miss. That's very good. Alright, that's just a free Freya kill. See ya! Yeah, that was a little... A little something. I guess she was just not expecting them to back as soon as they did, because they were still in right for a while. So she just went for a deep jungle invade, I guess. We're pretty low on mana. We're definitely gonna want like a mana MP5 item really soon. We do have, uh, I mean, I guess Frost Frostbound exists. Oh, this Cleo actually might be in a lot of trouble, actually. I don't have mana though, so. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, so that's all of them. Good gank. Nice, we should be able to get tower here too. Kinda of just walk into tower and uh, take it out. See ya. See ya! Yeah, buddy. I love the baseball skin, best Herc skin in the game. Some people might uh, disagree with that. Maybe they'll like, maybe they like the Hockey skin better, but I like the baseball skin. I like having the baseball bat. It's fun. I like the Heimdall baseball skin as well. I, I don't know. Baseball skins are just, uh, they're kind of fun. I'm not the hugest fan of baseball uh, either, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's just cool. Definitely getting the Onis. Onis, uh, feeling pretty good recently. It's a decent item for sure. It's gonna make us very tanky. What's going on there? What are you guys, what the hell are you guys doing? Um... And it's gonna give us a little bit of MP5 as well. It gives us is it the least? I think it's the second least. I think it's the the halfway point. Because Ganges gives you the most MP5. Shogun's gives you the least, I think. And Oni's right in the middle. They're all separated by 10 MP5 each. What is this little girl doing? Ooh, yeah, big scary scream that did like a tenth of not even a tenth of my HP. Did I even hit her? I see this is the thing, I can't tell if I hit her or not. No, I don't think I did. For her being a full damage assassin, uh, our clear is pretty good. We kind of we kind of clear just as fast as she does. This is good. She's just gonna go on the wall again. Not really much I can do to stop her. Whatever. She's just gonna dash back in the lane. That's fine. I can clear out my blue buff. The blue one for sure. We get a blue one for now. We can get we can get green later in the game when it uh, makes more uh, makes a better impact. Blue for right now. We can just get the cooldown and then yeah, late game we can get the green, get tankier or not tankier, but like have more health basically. Takes longer for us to die. It's mainly all it is. Oh, they were on Pyro, huh? Surely someone was here. Surely Kleena just didn't do it by herself. No way she did. Yeah, she must have. I think she showed up late. We're finally rotating now. Okay. Gotta be chill here. Don't want to take a bad fight. They're all five in mid, but so are we. Or Churn's not, but he can be here in a second. There he is. We just really need a good initiation. That kind of depends on me a little bit. We need to get a good pull. I missed. But I'm still scary. I'm still healing. We're fine. We can get a big fight in mid here. Oh, huge taunt! That was a beautiful taunt. Yeah, I was kind of watching there for a second to see where everyone would go. Because I didn't know if my two would actually hit or not. Just going to throw my rock down, I think. Get a kill on her. Get him. Nice. That was a beautiful taunt. The amount of the Athena action. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. No, we can we can leave and do gold. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, he's out his ash. He's fine. We probably could have killed Sylph and then went gold, but it really doesn't matter either way. We could have gotten the D aside, but you know, no no issue, no big no big deal. Yeah, we get the gold fairy for sure, so that's good. Yeah, good fight in mid there. That was a massive Ath Athena taunt uh, with the. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of massive Athena taunts recently. With her getting her buff, like a lot of people are playing her, and uh, people some some people are playing her really well, which is nice. Um, it's cool when people get um, buffed and people play them more because they're better. 
Especially if they're characters that really just haven't gotten really good playtime in a while. Like, obviously it gets annoying at a certain point because it's like, okay, I get it, you're playing the character that is really good right now. But, uh, sometimes, like, sometimes it's warranted. Sometimes those characters just need that love. They just haven't... Oh, okay. I don't know if we catch her. Oh, good taunt, though. Gets her from away from the wall. Get, keep her away from the wall! I missed my rock. I don't think we can chase. Another taunt on her, maybe? Oh, Churn's here. Did I hit her? I don't even know where she went. Oh my god. Okay, I'm assuming they... Okay, I assume, I'm assuming they get her, right? Okay. I had no idea where she went. That blind is so crazy strong sometimes. Um, anyway, what I was saying... Uh, yeah, it's cool when characters that really just haven't seen, like, the light of day in a while. Or, like, just haven't been having a good time in the game. When, uh... For any game, if, like, if... if if they're just, they just aren't good, but then they get buffed to be a little good, like, that's great. I think that's good. It keeps things balanced. Um, let the Ryzen change. Like, Ryzen was probably the least played mage before uh, his change. Um, and now he's uh, one of the most played, because he's actually uh, decent. He's actually fun. Well, I mean, he was fun before, but... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright, we can back. We, got our, we can get our Sigil upgrade really soon. I think we're just going to get a Fred win, though. Pridwin OP. Pridwin's still strong. I think we can teleport and maybe blink the mid if they're still there, but it doesn't look like they are. We don't know where Cleo is. We definitely want to call that out. Pyro's coming up soon. Might want to be around for it this time so they don't uh, just do it. They kind of did it for free last time. We were all up. We just didn't have wards and didn't have vision. I'm going to get this wave quick. I'm gonna try to keep this tower alive as quick as I can. Uh, Cleo might be rotating mid, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have gone, come to do this. Yeah, she's coming. They're chilling though. They're not fighting in mid right now, so yeah, they're, they're good. They're actually dashing on. I don't know if that's the play. They're, they're kind of grouped up here. I don't know what's, what's going on here. Can we go in here? I'm gonna boulder this just because I got a whole lot uh, fucking hallway of them. Okay. Here comes new wah. I'm probably just gonna follow the new wah. Make sure she doesn't get free damage in these fights. Here a little bit. Get the frostbound on her so she can't really run away that quickly. She's gonna get the stun on me here. That's fine. Nice. Probably gets a blink off. Unfortunately, we're not able to tank for her. Because we kind of got slowed and stunned there. But, uh, she doesn't die, so it's not a big deal. Sylv! Anyone up? Anyone here to this Pele? You want to kill the Sylv? She does not. She does not want to kill the Sylv. Okay. I feel like we could still do something here. I'm still pretty healthy. Oh my god, how did that not pull? Oh, here we go. Oh, perfect. Pull the dance. Pele? Okay, she went for Sylv. Okay, uh... Weird targeting there. I feel like if she went on Don's there, I could have killed him. Maybe not, but maybe an active or something. That was kind of weird. Oh, good pull of the Clea. Oh, just missed the taunt though. I mean, they're these guys are fairly immobile. I feel like, I mean, I guess I guess churns low. The Pele regank though. Oh, this is a huge fight, right? Clea's dead. Yep. I pulled the Donza. He's still in his leaf form. I didn't know that was a thing. That was kind of goofy. I just missed the Dons. Oh. Oh, I fucked that up. If I position a little bit better, I think I just kill uh, Sylvanas. I'm probably fine, right? See ya. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't need that, but... Yeah, we're good. I'll actually stick around just for this. So, how have you guys been? Cool. Um, the day I'm recording this, actually, uh, she's, she, she didn't get revealed, but the new, the next god, uh, got her, like, closer look to today. And, uh, she seems pretty interesting. She's a magical assassin, apparently. Much like, uh, a Kwong. And she's very, and she's voodoo-themed, so. Um, I saw a little bit of her character design, like how does she, they designed her. She looks really cool. I'm actually really excited for the 
the patch notes um, in a couple days. No really excited to see what Smite, where Smite's going to go. Uh, in the next patch with uh, the new god. Probably some interesting changes to the other gods as well. We'll see. Uh, usually how, how this year's been going, next update should primarily just be the god release. There's not really a whole lot of happening outside of god the god release and some new skins. I think we're just going to group up and go for titans. Just kind of walk around right now. I think it's all the way in left, but oh, okay. Well, turn ulting to that probably isn't very good. Because now we're kind of just giving up gold. They probably, they definitely know he went left. So they know, we're going to be outnumbered for sure here. I'll try ulting this. That was way too late. Or too early, I should say. That's too bad. Well, we'll get the Athena ult, but... I feel like it's a little late, guys. Okay, well, we're going in anyway. I mean, I might as well full send. We can probably get the Dons, yeah? Oh, maybe not. There's still a... Oh, wait, no, there's not a tower there. That was the Titan I was looking at. We can still, we can still Sylve here, right? I got boys. Boys? Maybe not. Who's that? It's Freya. Call her out. Um, I'll probably just sit in the jungle a little bit just to watch for if that Freya is going to come anywhere. All right, we should go kill the Titans though. We we don't need to be attacking. We can just get kill the Titan to move up, right? Oh, okay, Morgan is just dead. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we're doing there. She, uh, I don't, I don't know what Morgan was doing there. We should have just went back for the Titans and started killing them. Nice. We killed the Freya, right? Yeah, nice. Good plays. We still got our Titan, like, half HP, kind of. So we can kind of get some, we can get some tower action here. Get this tower. Maybe we can pull something off with these guys. Donza? You get a Don's pull? That's a dead Donza, right? Hell yeah. Taunt? No taunt. It's okay, we get her ult. Uh, she's too far. I thought she'd be a little bit closer there for a pull. That's fine, though. We get the Athena ult. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of done here, though. We don't get Phoenix, unfortunately, but... That's fine. That's not too bad. We should definitely be setting up for Fire Giant here. I don't think... They'll all be up by the time we get over there anyway, but... Might as well start looking for it. It's been really nice if we got a uh, Phoenix there. I think we had a sigil of the old guard here. Do we finally sell the gooseberries? I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to sell the gooseberries. There we go. Alright, let's go. Double hunter fire? Yeah, we can do double hunter. Oh, I just sold my starter upgrade. Oh, I didn't realize that. Fuck. I thought I just... I thought... Fuck. I, I wish that thing worked a little differently. I wish that got... I, I wish clicking on the arrow, like, redid the last thing you just bought. It But it redoes... It, it redoes everything that you did while you were in Fountain. Which I... I can't believe I haven't gotten used to that yet. It's kind of a dumb system, in my opinion. Oh, Cleo? No. She batched just in time. And go for the new odd, though. She's kind of out of position here. Okay, well, we can just spread out now. Okay, surely we don't let her get away, right? Do we get push on her? We don't get the push? I think Pele's knockup actually stopped her from moving forward, so we missed the push. I swear to God, Morgan. Oh my God, why? Why was she over there? Athena's gotta get out. They're all coming. Oh man. That sucks. Okay, they're still actually chasing a bit. Oh my god, what a still pull. Oh my god. Do I... Do I die? Oh no. Well, I got a massive heal. Oh, I'm getting massive shields too. I don't think that's enough to save me. No, it is not. Jeez, man. Maybe if I had my starter upgrade, I could have lived there. But I sold it like an idiot. Well, that really sucks. Yeah, now me and Morgan kind of just got picked for no reason. I didn't realize I was out of position there. That's too bad. Yeah, we just need to be living here, boys. Uh, 
If oh my god, if Freya, I mean, why is he? Uh, that's too bad. If Freya hits that whoop on any of those low health targets. She uh, insta kills them when they come down. Okay, we finally get our upgrade back. We had to sell our tier. Or we had to sell our item. That was really annoying. Um, that shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have done that. That was really dumb. Our Paley's doing really well, but the rest of our team's kind of like iffy. Fern's doing okay, I guess. Morgan's getting caught out pretty consistently, though. In 2 and 8, unfortunately. Unfortunate. I feel like we've been doing pretty well this game, and we kind of just flubbed our, uh, our Fire Giant by kind of just being out of position there. It's okay, though. I'm not awfully scared of this team, even with Fire Giant. I mean, they have the Freya, I guess, but she hasn't been super, super insane. She's not, like, hard carrying their team or anything like that. I lodged myself in place, as you do on a Herc. If they want to go for a goal, I can definitely teleport over and help them with it and, like, help uh, zone and shit. I think we're good to take fights, even with them having fire. I don't know. I feel like they have a team that's really bad at getting caught out of position. Okay, the thing is kind of nuts. We do have to consider that they have fire. We should not be fighting into them. We should be taking fights when they fight into us. Looking for those opportunities, and we just need to book it at this point. Because now we are at, at a disadvantage. Because Athena's really low. Yeah, I mean, we can fight definitely under towers still, I think. I don't think we need to... Retreat to Phoenix is quite yet, but it depends on how many people we have to defend these towers as well. Ooh, they just split down the middle. I thought we would get a really good pull there, but unfortunately we did not. It's fine. We're gonna go for mid here. We might be able to defend this still. On the wall, gotta keep note of that. Churn does have the ults just in case we need to come over and help us fight. I'm just gonna tuck, I'm just gonna toss an ult, get some damage on him. Probably doesn't really mean a whole lot, they'll heal up from it with Fire Giant and Sylvana seals and shit. Yeah, they get mid pretty easily. That's fine. We're just stalling. I mean, it's taking them a long time to do kind of anything. We got gold and they got bid begin so honestly i feel like we still we won that trade of what they get and they're really not pushing yeah we're really not that scared of them wait we didn't get fire giant did we have i been have i have i been just completely wrong this entire time is that was that athena with fire giant alt <laughs> fire fire giant buff on her is that fire giant it is right uh, we had, we got Fire Giant. I didn't even know that. You guys were probably, if, if anyone was listening to me right there and was just like, was just like in awe of how I didn't know we got Fire Giant. Like, I'm there right there with you. I'm also in awe of how I didn't know we got Fire Giant. I swear they got it. <laughs> it's just because I didn't have it on me, but I was dead. I mean, obviously that makes sense. Oh, wow. Now I feel like an idiot. No wonder they didn't want to fight us. We had fucking Fire Giant. No wonder Athena wanted to fight. She had Fire Giant. Yeah, we could look for maybe a little something here. They're all they're really bunched up in the jungle. Let's see if I can. Sheesh, that tick damage. I mean, it didn't do that much, but I'm a ta I'm a tanky boy. Any uh, any chip damage to me is like. No, you know that's a decent amount. That's another massive ton. Of course, it was not able to capitalize on it at all because of the stupid new law. Oh, I tried dashing to block the rocket. Okay, it hit me anyway. <laughs> I was technically blocking the rocket, so it didn't hit one of our squishies. I think I'm just going to do the same thing as last time, where I'm just going to bother this new law. Although, she's kind of whooping me, and our team's losing, so that's not great. I got to... I think I got to blink out. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I, I I felt like I was zoning Nuwa there, the mage of the team. And uh, she's not able to do damage to our teammates, so I don't know. 
That's unfortunate. It sucks that we still lose that. I'm not in time. I'm so late to this and I don't have all. I have to try to use my abilities. Okay. We we didn't get it this time. I, I had to I had to like triple triple check that time to make sure we didn't get it. So we didn't. I think I'm good. How did that not pull him? I turn. I literally. He must have been on the very edge of that uh, ability to not pull him. Oh, I'm not dead here, am I? I still have my dash up and my heal. I'm good, right? Oh, maybe I'm not good. Okay, I am not good. They they did not mind taking a Phoenix immediately because they're all full health. God damn it, man. Nice though. Good fucking kill on the Dons there. Although I feel like he's really not the problem child. It definitely is this Freya. If the Morgan, okay, she turned into Freya. She just one shots this person, right? Yep, she does. Freya moment. She's gonna be careful though. Who left? Donza? Nah, that wasn't a rage quit. He's one, he is one in six, but I don't think that was a rage quit. He probably just disconnected. Smite's been like that recently. Yeah, he's he's, come, he's immediately back. Can they go for an end here? I think it's back up. I don't think they can go for an end, right? It looks like they're trying. Nice, good blank. Okay, well, I mean, kind of thwarted immediately, but good taunt. Okay, Freya's down. Good. Nice. Titan going Titan going crazy? And he just dead to Phoenix. Nice. Do you know with a triple kill? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get left. They should just be able to push up mid or... Do gold for you or something, maybe. No, well, not gold for you, maybe, but maybe get mid tower. I'm definitely gonna worry about just like clearing these mid, uh, these left ways. I mean, pushing up the firemans as far as we can. That way, we don't they don't they aren't a problem. Just gonna use my ult to clear here. Ult on a 40 second cooldown at this point. I really don't care about using to clear wave even at this point in the game. I have full cooldown, a max cooldown at this point. Yeah, I, I should be fine. I don't think they'll come straight left. Especially since that's the lane they already got. They're probably going to go mid or right. God damn it, the fucking minions. I hate minion aggro in this game sometimes. It's so fucking annoying. Come here. There we go. Nice, we did get Oni Pier. Nice. A little laggy there. Even with the minions, sometimes you push it and it doesn't come until a second or two later. Usually just a second. Use the ult again. Let's get that clear going. Yeah, fire minions are tough, man. They take a bit to clear, especially as a, as a tank. Pushing up pretty far. We have only minions to combat the fire minions as well. I might be able to just back here. Get my item and then teleport over to wherever I need to go. Get the pot here, get the power pot, and then we probably just go. Uh, we probably won't have to teleport just yet. But we got it in our back pocket when we need it. Uh, turn's dead, okay, that sucks. That does not help our odds at all. But I guess Fire Giant isn't coming up for a bit yet. So as long as the rest of us don't pick, get picked, if the rest of us get picked, this game's over. So we gotta be careful. Oh, did she catch me mid-dash, man. Alright, I don't think I needed the Athena ult, but maybe we just kill her now, actually. A taunt off? Nice. We kind of just left Morgan to die. I guess. That's too bad. Don's all down. I saw him moving at the speed of light. Yeah, there he is. They... Oh, boy. I mean, we don't have a tower here anymore. Surely this is a decent fight. Okay, oops. I kind of pulled it out of Pele ult. There. That's my bad. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh my god. That sucks. Yeah, I kind of fucked with Pele ult there. She ulted and then I immediately pushed him away so she can get those autos off on him, but... I, I, I really wanted to like push them towards Phoenix just so we can kind of deny them getting like sneaking around us. Oh, what does he save it? He does not. Oh, that sucks. 
Yeah, I mean, kind of a risky play. I, I, I didn't really have confirmation that that she was going to ult that. Plus, I did just want to push them like, closer into Phoenix, because I knew we had a really good advantage there for that fight. With Freya being down, I felt pretty confident that we could probably just win. I think we're fine, though. I mean, we lost to Phoenix again, but I think we can just regroup. Go for Fire Giant. It's fine. Unfortunate play, but I think we'll I think we'll stay in the game for at least a little bit longer. Probably just not gonna do that then. If uh, I don't want to fuck up anyone's alts. And some gods are good at doing that. They're good at just pushing people away when you don't want them to. So we're just gonna avoid doing that. That's fine. Ward, uh, Fire Giant. I'm, I should be fine doing this. I'm gonna go left, uh, clear for now. We don't have that many wards, especially on the right side of the map, so if we need to get over there really quick, I have no way to get there. Maybe we can put some wards there after Fire Giant. Obviously, Fire Giant's gonna be priority here. I'm gonna be careful here, make sure they don't rotate as a team onto me in the left lane. Which they could do, but it looks like they're staying in the jungle for now. Looks like they're starting to fight a little bit, and I'll finish clearing minions and go. Cleo's all the way in- oh, she teleported, never mind. Damn, she dashed right through my dash. That's a weird, uh, interaction. Oh, that might have been really good. See if we can get some going. Be a really just be a menace. Again, we kinda pushed away the Donza, but like kinda just wanna get them scared. Get them using shit before our boys go in. Oh my god, how does that not knock up anybody? Oh my god! Again, it does not push with me, it pushes after after the fact. And I just swung because I thought she'd be right next to me, but she was way ahead of me. Because how weird the interaction is, man. Uh, it's a two for two trade. Not the best trade in the world. This is interesting. This is a pretty close game. Unfortunately, we still have a Phoenix down. And Firemans are actually funneling into the room right now. Gotta deal with those. They have a lot of damage. I mean, their soul leader is just a full damage uh, assassin. They are going to have a lot of damage if they have a Freya jungle and a Cleo solo. They basically just have two ADCs and a jungler and a mage late game. And then just big, big Sylvanas, who's just a tanky boy, the tankiest boy that ever lived with that build he's got. Mm. I just gotta find ways to deal with it. This is actually the... Yeah, this is the second time the Titans are actually gonna be coming out. I don't know if I've even had a game where this happened yet. I could be wrong. I probably have, I'm just not thinking of it. Do we have any chance of defending this? I didn't realize they were actually doing it. Okay, I'm just gonna toss the rock. It's... Well, they're really low. We should have a really good advantage here, right? They're running for it, but we should be, definitely build the Kilinua. Good stun. Okay, that's Donza Rocket. They're still here. We should be able to... If I can get my blink up in a second... Nope, Sylvana's tick. Gonna ruin that. Nice, we're doing good, though. I'm gonna just tank here. I'm gonna miss my two. Of course, I planned that. And I'll just tank. I'll just tank the tower for now. Let our boys do the thing that they need to do. Gonna have to step out, though. Just for a second. Gonna re, re it so it's doing less damage to us again. Definitely want to back here. I can teleport in if I need to. I don't know what we should actually do here. We could push left Phoenix, or we could just go right. Ooh, we gotta defend left lane here, actually. I'm gonna make sure we, like, maintain our advantage here. Oh, Fire Giant actually did go down. So they got Fire Giant this time. Freya and Savannah still have it. Um, for sure this time because I didn't die and I'm not an idiot 
or maybe I am. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to make sure our left bird is staying alive. Actually, yeah, it looks like they were killing uh, the waves while I was gone. I still have the teleport up. If they ward right, I can teleport over. <sighs> this isn't bad. This isn't a bad play. Push up minions as far as I can left, and then I can teleport. Maybe get our wave. We'll see. Yeah, we get a ward here. Since Kleena is going to be here, might as well get over there and just do some stuff. Whoa, Freya's way up. Yeah, we should just be going on this fray immediately. And the Nuwa. Okay. That's fine, though. I mean, they both die here. Super hard. What are they doing? This is, they're so out of position. Wow. Okay. Uh, good play, guys. Um, is that just a game? That was weird. They were all just kind of... Maybe they didn't... Maybe, maybe they weren't on the position. We just like turned on the jets for a second there. That was weird, though. Maybe they just didn't think the whole team was going to be there. They must have saw me and left and were like, Okay, Herc's not there. Surely we can just run up the Titan and kill it really quick. But I was there. Weird. I mean, if we ignore, ig ignore the Kleena, we should be able to just to kill Titan. Alright, well, we're dying to Kleena still. I mean, she's not gonna kill Athena, though, not by herself. Yeah, we're good. And we got a Titan here to finish the job for us. That's a GG's! I actually... That was kind of a weird game. We actually probably should have lost a couple times, and... Uh, we just had really good circumstances where people were coming up at the right times, people were making the right plays. Um, and they just made a really weird play at the end there. I don't know. They all kind of just funneled into us, and then they had, we kind of like just cut them off really well and just had good damage. And Pele made the sacrifice play. She actually she instantly died by those two going in, but they were not ready for what came afterwards. Honestly, good teammates. Good teammates that game. We kind of were all working together pretty well there. No one was getting super pissed. 35k? It's not, it's not bad. Decent damage. Uh, obviously not as much much damage as the full damage Cleo, but still, yeah, not too bad. Uh, yeah, I, that was a good hurt game. I'm happy with that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, see ya.